So it's been only 10 days since I took the $400,000 challenge from the Funded Trader program and I have made over $20,000 in these 10 days. How I made $20,000 in first 10 days and how do I plan to make another $20,000 to complete the $40,000 profit objective set by the Funded Trader program. Let's find out. Just for the proof, this is my balance $420,142 and I started this account with $400,000 amount. I made the first episode of this series 10 days ago. I published on the YouTube channel. You can watch the video from here. I have also added the link in description and now it is the second episode of me completing the $400,000 challenge with the Fundy Trader program. So how many trades I took in total to make $20,000? How many trades I won? How many I lost? what was my risk management strategy and how I am going to make another $20,000 in order to reach $440,000 balance in next 25 days that I have left in order to complete the profit objective from the funded trader. So in total, I took five trades, three trades on gold, all of them for the sell side, one trade on USD Swiss franc for the buy side and one trade on New Zealand US dollar for the sell side. This was my first trade that I did on gold for the sell side and I did it on 6th of June to. 2022 10 days ago and from this trade i was able to make 2.25 percent profit or which is nine thousand dollars in my first day of trading the four hundred thousand dollar challenge account right after i closed this trade at here i made around 2.25 percent my next trade was a very small trade i wanted to scalp the quick movement on usd swiss franc so i ended up taking a buy position from here on 15 minute time frame and i exited my trade right at here and I made around 0.5% profit in this trade as well. My risk was 0.5% and my target was also 0.5%. So at the end of day one, I was able to make total $11,000, which is 2.75% on $400,000 account. Now I am also making a live trading video of me becoming a six figure fundy trader and I will be uploading the first episode of that series next week. So make sure that you are subscribed so you will be able to learn a lot more when you will watch me taking these trades live. So this was my second trade and it made me 0.5% profit and it was at the end of day one. Once I closed it on the next day, I entered on gold for the sell side again from this level and I was expecting the market to make a drop towards these lows from the daily time frame. My first target was at this spot level. I was expecting the market reaction at this level, which happened later on as we can see. But my final target was these lows from the daily time frame because we have been going down on gold for around three to four months and I wanted to maximize my profit on this trade. But before it made the movement towards my first target, it stopped me out. But instead of me letting the trade hit stop loss at full, I decided to exit my trade at here and I exited my trade with 1% loss. So at the end of day 2 or day 3, after losing this trade on gold, I ended up being at 1.75% or $7,000 profit on $400,000 account. But right after I closed this trade, I found a better opportunity and it was on New Zealand US dollar for the sell side from the higher time frames perspective, 1 hour and 4 hour time frame trade. As we can see, the market was going down for a very long period of time. From here, the market started to make a pullback. We were going up making higher highs and higher lows inside the pullback movement. And once we reached at this level of support and resistance, market started to make a range. We can clearly see it on one hour time frame. The market went towards the sideways movement. We made a support here, market went up. We made a support here again, market went up. We retested that support level, market went up. But right after I saw that we have broken this level of sports, and now the market it has started to hold to the downside and the dollar index was also picking up a lot of strength so i decided that now i am taking a sell position on new zealand us dollar with one percent risk and my target will be the lower low of the higher time frames from the four hour and from the daily time frames which was this area and this trade took around four to five days in order to reach my profit target and it made me around 2.5 percent and right after this trade my account profit went from seven thousand dollars all the way to seventeen thousand dollars so at the end of this trade trade number four i was up 
4.25% profit on my $400,000 account. But when it reached my take profit area, I also found one more opportunity and it was again on gold this time as well. And what happened that on gold, this was the sideways movement. We had this resistance of range and we had this support of range. When we could not break this level of support or demand level from here, the market it made a strong movement to the upside and it happened right after the CPI data got released. We started to drop on gold but two hours after the CPI data there was another news event which really made the gold movement to the upside because of the high inflation because of the fear in the market and that US data was very bad and that really made the movement on gold to the upside. But on Monday when we could not make a higher high and it turned out to be a fake out look what happened the market dropped immediately after that so when it dropped immediately after that i saw that we have broken this level of support which was holding the market and now we are retesting it to the downside support becoming resistance on one hour time frame and 15 minute time frame so i ended up taking a sell position from this level and my target was at these lows again from the daily time frame let me show you the daily time frame here as well this was my target at this lower low area and market did make a movement to the downside right after i entered into the trade market it actually started to go towards my take profit area but we could not break this level of support right at here and after that market made a movement then there was fomc we were here somewhere when fomc got released right here at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. But when Federal Reserve Chairman Powell started speeching, it then turned the market to the upside on gold and US dollar started to pick up a lot of weakness across the board. So when it happened, I saw that it could not break this level again. So I decided that when it will come to the profit or at break even, I will immediately close my trade because I was not expecting the market to drop to the lows of daily time frame anymore. I knew that now we will start to see some reaction from the sellers and the buyers they will start kicking in. So I closed out my trade at this level somewhere here and I made around 0.75% profit on this trade. So at the end of this trade, after this fifth trade, my account balance is now sitting at $20,000 profit that I showed you earlier in this video. And now the buyers, they have started to make a movement to the upside and we have recently created this higher high on gold on one hour time frame. We broke this level of resistance and we are back inside this range from the four hour time frame. So I am now expecting the market to make a pullback towards that level. We have our first leg of pullback. We can clearly see from 15 minute time frame. Now I am expecting the second leg of pullback towards this level of resistance gets reject from here. I will be looking to buy from here, will place my stop loss somewhere here and my target, my first target at this high high area. If we break it to the upside, then obviously my next target will be somewhere at this area of spot and resistance from where we can expect a reaction. So this is how I made over $20,000 by only taking five trades out of which I lost one trade. I made profit in three trades and one trade was at almost break even. So that was really great to start the challenge with a lot of positive trades. So now how do I plan to complete my $40,000 profit objective? Remember one thing I still have 25 days left so i have a lot of time to make the remaining five percent so here is my plan i want to keep it very very simple i do not want to rush out the process in order to make the 10 percent profit target as quickly as possible i am not going to do that i have 25 days and i only need to make five percent and i have already made five percent so i am going to target two consecutive wins now in my next 25 days maybe i will get them in two days maybe i will get them in 10 days but my goal here is to get two best winning trades and i will be targeting 2.5 percent each from every single trade and my risk on that trade will be one percent each so if I risk 1% and I target 2.5% and I win my first trade, that means at the end of that trade, my profit will be sitting at 7.5%. And then I will need one more profitable trade with 2.5% risk to reward ratio at least. And if I also win that trade, then I will easily meet my 10% profit target with 1% risk on that trade and 2.5% target from that trade. So I want to keep it as simple as possible. So there will be no rush in the process. There will be no over trading and I will be taking my full time in order to meet the $40,000 profit objective. Because remember one thing, it is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes some time to get to that level where you want to be at. It does not happen overnight. It takes time to reach your profit target. 
it takes time to build discipline so if you are struggling always remember trading is a marathon it is not a sprint if i can do that you can do as well so i hope that you guys got a lot of value out of this video if you want to join the fundy trader i have added the link in description as well make sure to use that link to take the challenge with the fundy trader program i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching